Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is August the 13th. I just got home from church and I want to come on real quick to show you my hair. This is my twist out from the loose two, the loose two strand twist that I had in, in my last video. But in this video, I am actually going to be doing a porosity test on my hair. This is a little ball of hair that I have accumulated when I took out the twist and uh, re-moisturized last night. So stay tuned for the rest of the video, which is just my porosity test. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Okay guys, here we go. We are going to do my porosity test on my hair. All right, I am using distilled water and I'm just gonna put it in so maybe halfway, and I'm gonna fill the glass all the way up. This is room temperature distilled water down in my basement. This is actually the water that I use when I'm making soap. Okay, and then we're just gonna take my clean hair and drop it over in the water. And I have my cell phone set for five minutes. I'm probably gonna talk to you guys for that five minutes, or I might just start it and then turn it off and then come back in five minutes. Okay, here's my cell phone. Uh, 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 and it's set for five minutes. And I'll put it behind. Start. I'll even do a little. I'm going to let it run for about two minutes. Okay. I've done this test before. And both times I've gotten different results. Now, I don't know if my low porosity hair has anything to do. I'm not certain if my low porosity hair issue has anything to do with my henna on my hair. Because in the back of my head, it doesn't seem to bother my hair at all. My hair still absorbs and everything, and I do my henna treatments on my full head. In the front of my hair is where my low porosity section is major. That's where I get the majority of my shedding, the majority of my breakage. And if I don't use heat on that area during my wash days, then I get no moisture in that area, period. Now, in the back of my head, it's not that, that's not the case. I can get some moisture in the back. So my hair in the front is low, low, low porosity, and the rest of it just may be normal low porosity. Okay, we are already almost under two minutes already and my hair is still floating on the top. It hasn't sunk down at all. I'm going to give it another little tap with my finger and see if it goes down any. Now the hair is covered with water by me pressing it down. But as you see, my hair is not going down in that water at all. Let me turn this back on. Okay. And I'm fully letting it run, but more than likely I'll probably stop the video or edit the video to do it like one minute, two minutes, five minutes, three minutes, things like that, just so you guys won't have to sit here and watch that whole timer tick down for a full five minutes. But as you see, my hair is not dropping down in this water at all. It is absolutely floating on the top. There's a little bit where it's trying to drop down below the surface. But look how long it has taken. Could you imagine if you were wetting your hair and that's what happened? Okay, a full three minutes is gone. Okay guys, I took it off the tripod. The five minutes is up and that is where my hair is. But that took a full five minutes in room temperature water for my hair to even go halfway down the glass. So I'm going to say my hair is low porosity to normal porosity in sections, just like I thought. I'm going to pan up a little bit so you can see the top. 
I'm just doing a voiceover on this part because the speaker was out. My hand probably was over it. But that is my hair just grazing the top of the water. And I think it went down more because I pushed my hair down earlier in the video. But yes, I do believe I still have low porosity, especially in the front of my head. In the back is a little bit more to normal because it absorbs pretty easily. So thank you for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video. Be blessed.